Hello, I am streaming live on YouTube because there is a new fun Zoom update that just came out that I just can't wait to share with you today. There's two things we're going to look at today. Number one is Zoom now allows you to add your pronouns easily and in every meeting. And the second thing is you now can share your screen to all the breakout rooms and this is really fun because finally there's another way we can communicate as hosts as facilitators with our participants in the breakout room that is not just the very short broadcast message so if you're watching this live if you're watching this in the replay let me know that you're here in the comments and i will jump in and we'll talk about number one first how to add your pronouns in zoom so let me share my screen right here. This is the Zoom app. Um, if you don't know where to update, by the way, if you click that little button with your thumbnail on the top, there is a check for updates option. And actually will tell you that you're up to date. 5.70 is the version that I'm using today on June 21st, 2021. And uh, also, if you click here, you can check out your profile, which then will take you, whoa, hold on, hold on, will take you to the Zoom website. This is the one that I was looking for. Um, and this is where you change all of the settings. So first of all, there's one really cool thing, which I don't know you know about. Uh, let me zoom a little bit closer. You can have your first last name and you can have a different display name. So if you're like me, I like to have my location at the end of my name. Doesn't matter what Zoom event I join. So this is a great way to add that to your um, Zoom profile. So wherever I log in, it automatically says Jan, he, him, and Toronto. Now, I don't need to add this anymore because there's this whole section down here for pronouns. So let's actually try it out. If I put this in here, and then there's one cool option uh, where you can choose, do you want to be asked every time before you log in? Do you always want to share it? Or maybe you want to set it for only one event and then you want to turn it off. So you could choose when you should, um, when it should display your pronouns. So in this case, I'm going to click ask me every time to see what happens. Um, we're going to go save this and Go back to our Zoom app, which now disappeared for a second. There we go. Um, and here, I'm just going to start a new meeting and we'll see what happens. Oh, of course, this will happen. Um, let's do it this way. And now you can see on the top of the screen, uh, let me see if I can get a little bit closer to that. Hold on. It says, would you like to share your pronouns in this meeting? So right now, if we even look back at the bottom part of the screen, you can see over here, it does say Jan Keck and Toronto the way I added. So if I click share, it now just added the pronouns to the end of my name, which is awesome. So let's see if we can actually change that if I change my mind during the meeting and I go up here and I click re well, I thought I'm going to have to rename, but it actually has an option to unshare my pronouns. So I click that it disappears again. So uh, I assume that if you are joining an event and you have it set on the website and at one point the facilitator might ask you, OK, everyone, let's share our pronouns. You could just go up here on the more click share your pronouns and it will show up at the bottom left which is awesome. So I'm really glad that this is now an option. And I know a lot of people who will find good use of that as I frequently invite my participants to share their pronouns. Um, if you are not sure what pronouns are and why you should be sharing them, there is one great website, which is called mypronouns.org. Um, let me share this with you. Mypronouns.org. This is a great resource if you want to learn more about what are the pronouns and why do they matter? How do you use them? What if you make a mistake? There are some really cool resources on this page. All right, now the 
second feature that I'm really, really excited about. This is actually the one that I couldn't wait to try out. And uh, I already discovered with this recent update, I wasn't able to test it all, but I'll show you how it works. So let me go back to my Zoom app. If you are clicking share screen and you have breakout rooms already open, you will find a new checkbox on the bottom here that says share to breakout room. So let's actually set up some breakout rooms. Doesn't matter that there's nobody here. I'm just going to click create, open all the rooms. Okay, now that is in progress. If I now go to share screen, you can see here, it even has a nice new button. Um, let me actually see if I can get a little bit closer again. You can see that it says share to breakout rooms. So if I now, for example, choose the whiteboard and click share, I get this little pop-up that says, uh, your screen will be shared in the main session and in all of the breakout rooms. You still can share video or audio. So it'd literally just be the slide that you put up, the whiteboard that you put up. And if anybody's screen sharing within the breakout room, that will be stopped. So now I have my whiteboard and I could write a text that says, uh, let's wrap up in five minutes. Um, and I could also write, here are your next instructions. Of course, if I had an activity that I want to do in the breakout rooms, I would have all of this prepared. I would have some slides with the text on it. So I can't wait to use that and maybe do a longer breakout room session where I don't have to bring everyone back to the main room to tell them the next step of a activity or of a process. And it actually says on the top as well in the green bar, you are sharing to breakout rooms and then I can stop share and we're back here. And the one thing that I wanted to try and show you is, well, what does it look like from the participants perspective when somebody shares? But unfortunately, this only works on computers on the Zoom app right now. If you're using the iPad, uh, I also have an Android phone. Um, those apps are not updated yet. So the message actually doesn't show up on any of those devices. So until then, I'm probably going to be hesitant relying on that information to go through to the breakout rooms um, just by sharing my screen. I will still be doing broadcast messages and most importantly, sharing all of the instructions in the chat before I send my participants into breakout rooms. That's still the best way, in my opinion, where they can reread instructions on their own time. It's visible to everyone. Um, so hoping that the uh, mobile apps will be updated very soon so we can use this and then I'll do another video where I'll show you how it actually looks like. But I assume it will just be like anybody else sharing your screen and you're probably going to see at the top that the host is sharing their screen with the message. Um, so stay tuned if you're looking for more tips around how to use Zoom to create more meaningful experiences in a virtual space. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am very close to getting my 1,000, hitting my 1,000 subscriber goal this year. So make sure you're subscribed. Uh, I share videos on facilitation tips, virtual and in person, and of course on how to use Zoom to make the most out of the virtual and hybrid experiences that you're all creating. So have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for staying with me today, and I will see you soon.